Hello everyone, and welcome to the mid-season finale. In this episode, we're going to talk about the schedule for the rest of the season, the past and future of this channel, and drama in the RC world. This episode will be all about this channel. I have 46 subscribers now, so I'm not sure who's going to be watching. Uh, if you have no interest in this channel, then probably won't be anything for you in this episode. But to all of you who have subscribed and everyone who watches, thank you very much. As far as the schedule goes, I once heard a YouTuber saying that your first 50 videos are going to suck. Well, this is episode 12, so we only have 38 more episodes before things start getting good. I'm going to be skipping the next video week after next. After that, I plan on doing 12 more episodes. So a month from now, I'll be releasing a video every other Sunday at noon, which will make 24 episodes for the season. So I started this channel because I thought it was a little cliché that men my age were starting to get into the RC hobby. So I thought there might be some interest for others in, in the same situation. And maybe I could inspire somebody to go ahead and start the hobby if they were on the fence about whether they wanted to get into RC or not. And also, I don't have any experience doing a YouTube video, so I thought there could be some value there. So my goal is to show my progression in the RC world and in making YouTube videos. So if you watch very many RC videos, you probably know about the drama between RC Sparks and Kevin Talbot. I don't really need to talk about the drama, but... When I read what R.C. Sparks had written, it really made me think a lot about the future of this channel. When I started this channel, I would joke and say, you know, I'm not doing this channel to become rich or YouTube famous. I definitely don't think that I'll get to the level of Kevin or R.C. Sparks, but all the drama really got me thinking about what it would be like to have thousands of viewers. I'm not a, you know, be in the spotlight kind of guy. And just having that many people uh, react to your opinion on stuff just seems really weird to me. And the other thing I got out of all this drama was the way that YouTube treated R.C. Sparks videos that had his kid appear in them. So having a channel that's essentially about toys and then having a child appear in a video, that really makes the video appear as if it's made for children. I don't think he wanted his vids labeled for kids, and I don't want mine labeled that way either. I don't really like censorship, but at the same time, if a child wants to watch my video, I don't want someone saying, no, you can't watch that because the other person feels that it's inappropriate. And, uh, and I also would like for my daughter to have a more direct role in the channel, but now I'm not so sure about that either. So the second half of the season, we can look forward to some bashing videos, uh, some more of the Gas Powered Rampage, which I have the body for now, uh, some first-person view videos. Uh, I would also like to make some RC boat vids, and uh, definitely more crawling vids. Uh, I would like to find a way to work in some good explosions for excitement, but I'm having trouble finding any. Uh, so if you know any good explosions that work cheap, tell them to hit me up. Well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give that thumbs up. Uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe and stay tuned for the rest of the season. And thanks for watching.